In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three different ways to add your RioLink cameras into Home Assistant. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. During the last week or so, I've been playing around with RioLink's latest camera, the RioLink Duo. And during that playing around and testing period, I've obviously been seeing how you can get this thing into Home Assistant. If you're interested in finding a bit more out about this camera, then I've also created a preview video for it. So go ahead and check that out. I'll also be following this up with a full review. But enough about that, let's have a look at those three methods. So the three methods we're going to be having a look at are RTSP, OnViv, and we'll also be looking at the RioLink's hacks integration. For each of these methods, we're going to be making use of RioLink's cameras, but if you are using another brand of security camera, providing they offer the same functionality and protocols, you will be able to follow it along. The only one you're not going to be able to follow along with is the last one where we'll be using the custom RioLink integration. Let's start off with RTSP then. There's a few different ways to get RTSP streams into Home Assistant, but my preferred way is by using a custom component called WebRTC, and it's created by Alex IT. There'll be links to this GitHub page in the description below. WebRTC camera is a custom component for viewing and accessing RTSP streams. It runs quickly, it works on both mobile and desktop, and it also supports camera streams with sound. Again, if you want to know more about this project, there'll be a link for it in the description, so go and check it out. So this is going to be a bit of a process, but it's not hard and it's definitely worthwhile. We're going to need to have hacks installed to actually do this. If you're not sure what hacks is or you have no idea how to go about installing it, I created a video a little while ago on five add-ons for beginners, and in that video I cover the hack setter. So we're going to need to have hacks installed in order to get WebRTC camera and WebRTC camera in order to access our camera streams. Let's go. To get started, we're going to need to open up hacks and then we're going to want to choose integrations. And from here, we're going to just click the explore and add repositories button in the bottom right. And then we're going to want to start typing WebRTC. And we should see that appear there. I'm just going to select it. And then we're going to choose install this repository in hacks. At the time of recording this, the latest version is version 2.1.1. So I'm just going to hit install on that. Once that's installed, that's WebRTC camera added into Hacks. So we're just going to scroll down and we should see the component there telling us that it's pending a restart. So all we're going to need to do now is just restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant comes back to life, we're going to choose Configuration and Integrations. And then in the bottom right, we're going to choose Add Integration. And from here, we're going to start typing WebRTC. And we should see WebRTC camera appear here. If you're at this point and WebRTC camera is not showing up, you may just need to clear your browser cache. A quick and simple way to do this is just by hitting Ctrl and F5. The page should refresh and then if you search again, WebRTC camera should appear. So we're going to select that and it should just take a second for it to set up. And after a second, we should see the success message and we can just hit finish. And we can then see WebRTC camera as a card in our integrations here. On the WebRTC GitHub page, there are some examples for configurations that you can use, but we're just going to be using a very basic one for this demo. I should have also pointed this out earlier, but there is a known list of working cameras, so you might want to check if your camera is in that list. But just because your camera is not in that list, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. So for example, I'm using the RioLink Duo in this camera and it's just released today. So that's not in that list, but it does work. Now that we've got that set up, we can add our camera to our Lovelace. So let's jump to our dashboard now. I've got an empty dashboard for this demo, so let's go ahead and start adding things to it. So we're going to click the three dots in the top right, and we're going to go to Edit Dashboard, and then we're going to choose Add Card. For the card type, we're going to want to make use of the WebRTC card, so we can just start typing Web, and we should see that custom WebRTC camera card appear there, so we're going to select that one. And what this will do is just provide us with a very simple example that we can modify and make use of. All we're going to need to do is just update this URL to be the URL of our RioLink camera. I'll have this example URL listed in the description below, so you can go ahead and copy that and just update the parts you want to. So you're going to need to change the username and password to be your RioLink username and password. You're then going to want to set the IP address to be the IP address of your camera. And then for the stream, you've got the choice of two different options. So you've got main or sub. The main stream is going to be the full quality one, and the sub one is going to be the lower quality one. As you edit that, you should see the preview of the camera appear here. And once you're happy with that, you can just hit save. And once you hit save, you should then be able to see that card on the dashboard with your camera stream. You can make this full screen and if it offers sound, you should also be able to hear that sound. Up next, we've got OnViv. Now this is a nice and simple one as we can add this directly from within Home Assistant. So we're going to want to choose configuration and then integrations. And then in the bottom right there, we're going to choose add integration. And we're going to do a search for OnViv. And we should see that appear there. So we're just going to select it. 
We'll then get the OnViv device set up pop-up appear. And what this is going to do is it's going to try and search automatically for any cameras on our network that are using OnViv. If your camera is allowing that discovery, then it should appear here. If not, you'll have to manually add it. So let's go ahead and hit submit. I'm going to be manually configuring this. So we're going to need to provide a name for the camera, the host name, which is going to be the camera's IP address, and then the username and password for the camera. Something else to point out here is that the RioLink cameras use port 8000 as the default OnViv port. So if you've got all that information added in, you can just hit submit. You should then hopefully see the success message. And from here, you can assign that camera to a specific area if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish. And in your integrations list, you should now be able to see your camera in the OnViv card. So we can go ahead and select that. And from here, you can see I've got the choice of two streams. I've got the mainstream and the substream. And you might be wondering why I've got two different ones there. And that's because this camera that I'm using is the new RioLink Duo. So it's got the dual lenses. So it essentially gives me two camera channels as it's got two cameras. So I can view either the left side or the right side. And I can view both of those as the mainstream or the substream. As we've got access to the entities here, we can just make use of these cameras like we would with any other Home Assistant camera. And we can just select them and select the options and then we can view the live stream for those cameras. And because those are camera entities, we can do camera related things with them. So we can take snapshots, we can take recordings, and we can also expose them to our virtual assistants like your Amazon Echoes and Google Homes to view the streams through those if that's something you wanted to do. And you can of course add those to your Lovelace dashboard and view them on specific camera cards or in picture glances or whatever it is you wanna do with them. And on to our last method then, the RioLink Hacks integration. This is my preferred method for adding the RioLink cameras as you gain access to extra entities and features of the camera that you can't do with the other two methods. Some of the extra entities are things such as toggles for infrared lights, spotlights, audio recording, video recording, and much, much more. Again, if you're interested in this, I'll have a link to the GitHub page in the description below so you can go and check that out. Another thing to make a note of here is that if you're using a battery operated camera, then they're not supported at all. To get this last method added, we're gonna to need to open up hacks and we're gonna choose integrations. We're then gonna choose the three dots in the top right corner and we're gonna choose custom repositories. We're then gonna to need to add the custom repository URL and I'll have this in the description below. So just go ahead and copy and paste that. All we then need to do is just set the category and the category for this is just gonna be integration. So select that and then hit add. You should then see the RioLink IP camera in your custom repositories list and we can just hit close. We're then going to want to choose explore and add repositories in the bottom right corner and we're going to start typing RioLink. And as we do that, we should see RioLink IP camera appear. So we're going to choose that and then we're just going to press install this repository in hacks. At the time of recording this, the latest version is version 0.20. So we're just going to hit install. And when that's done, we should be able to scroll down and see the integration in our list. And we can see that there and it's telling us it's pending a restart. So again, we're just gonna to need to quickly reboot Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant comes back to life, we can press configuration and then integrations. And in the bottom right here, we should be able to click add integration and then we can start typing RioLink. And we should see RioLink IP camera and we're gonna choose that. It's then gonna ask us for the host name, the username and the password. The host name is going to be the IP address of your camera and then the username and password will be the credentials for your RioLink account. So let's go ahead and enter those and we're just going to hit submit. You should then hopefully see the success message and you should be able to see your camera. You can then optionally assign it to an area but for now I'm just going to go ahead and click finish and you should now be able to see your camera underneath the RioLink card in the integrations list. So I can choose the device there and I can see that I've got the E1 zoom and I can select that. And from here, I can see that I've got access to the E1 Zoom camera stream, and I can also toggle on and off all these different entities. If you're interested in RioLink's new Duo camera, then that's also compatible with this integration. And in my preview video, I show you how to actually add that to this integration. If you've never seen the E1 Zoom, it's one of RioLink's small PTZ cameras, and I've also done a couple of videos on that. So if you're interested in that, go and check those out. From this entities list, you can probably see why this is my preferred method for adding the cameras. I can do things like turn on and off push notifications. I can turn on and off recording, and I can also view the camera's motion sensor. As these are all entities, we can make use of them within our automations. So we can do things like turn off the video recording when we get home or turn on the outside light when the camera detects motion. And just like the other two methods, we can view the camera's live feed and we can also add that feed and all those entities to our Lovelace dashboards. And there we go. That's been a look at three different methods for getting your RioLink cameras added into Home Assistant. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop me a like. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. You'll then be alerted to any future video that I do.
If you've been wondering what this weird robotic head thing is, then you should definitely go and check out the preview that I created. It should be linked above or in the description somewhere. As always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. These awesome dudes are my Patreons. If you're interested in supporting my channel, then there'll be a link to my Patreon in the description below. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.